Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today's video is about we're gonna be trying to make a one petabyte storage server or one petabyte server but this video is sponsored by my patrons and in that regard I would like to promote some of the people that has been there for a really long time uh, Bowen who is a German guy who I have uh, been on discord with and we have uh, been video chatting has um, has been with me for 70 months Martin Gruber has also been there for 17 months 7, 70, 70, 70 months and Martin is also the highest contributor on my patreon so thank you very much Martin Anki Joe's Playhouse was there the very first day together with the three other guys here so uh, 70 months Sebastian Kerr Jensen, a Danish guy I have noticed that he has been purchasing stuff in my shop thank you very much for being a patron for 70 months and Ole Matthäus Sörsjal um, I would... Uh, Sweden probably? Um, 70 months, thank you very much I haven't noticed you anywhere else but, um, but you're very much appreciated on Patreon and then I would like to list up all the new patrons and uh, that is Sebastian Mencia from Sweden and that is it and this is why we are promoting Patreon a little bit well it's difficult times I can fully understand that people have other priorities so I just need to promote it see if there is anyone out there with deep pockets let's get on with the video shall we so what I want to try today is I have my awesome Lenovo X3650 model 5 here it has been collecting dust so we're gonna start by wiping that off that is connected to this storage unit down here which is a Hewlett Packard Enterprise uh, well it says that it says stall once but this is the D6000 ish uh, storage unit it uh, it has room for 70 hard drives and it is fully occupied so over here there's 35 10 terabytes and over here there is 35 12 terabytes so this unit in itself as it stands has 770 terabytes so we are pretty close to that one petabyte of storage we only need to find 230 and um, i'm hoping that we can do that over here there is 48 drives here and i have some tens here but I need some more. So all of these are three terabyte drives, but if we round it up to that, there is like 50 drives in this box, uh, that would give me 150 terabytes if, if all of them were three terabytes. Uh, if it was so, I would only be missing about 70 terabytes to reach one petabyte, but I have some extra 10 terabytes, and, uh, and I even think there's a 12 terabyte, in this machine up here which we um, actually took the drives out from down there to fully occupy this one to get to a hundred terabytes in that server there for an entertaining video I'm doing that so today we're gonna take them out and put them back down there and hopefully reach one petabyte and the wise ones of you will be sitting there on the other side of your screen and wondering why does he want one petabyte of storage? Well, because we can. But we can't do it without <coughs> getting the drives out of this one because, yeah, I kind of put a lot of good drives in this one. Oh, this is the really, really, really long one. <sighs> it's crazy long. Just look at that. Isn't that a wonderful view? So there is 12 internal drives in this 1U server. And that's why we have it. It's awesome like that. It's really cool in that regard. I'll take all of these drives out.
if you're curious about this server, this is a server that I got from Bargain Hardware and I have done multiple videos on it so uh, do look it up on my channel it's the C3100 so now I have additional 12 drives here and I have been lazy and only put in two screws which is going to help me now because it's less screws to remove and I'm going to be putting the trays back in the server so yeah I'm not going to bother you with all of that so this, this bargain hardware server beast is ready to play another day I have put all the trays back in so they yeah you do that so they don't uh, disappear on you otherwise you know they are not gonna be where you thought you put them it's just a known fact and over here we have nine 10 terabyte drives and we have three 12 terabyte drives so if my head calculations are right that's 126 terabyte of hard disk space which we're going to be putting in the storage unit down there so here are the two uh, these are net app uh, storage boxes das is uh, uh, 4243 i think the model number is um, I have already started this uh, previous uh, videos ago and put in two, two drives that I found okay. A lot of these drives has been, uh, has been Dutchy drives. The Hewlett Packard Enterprise server that they have been running in has been says this drive is no good. So they might be kind of Dutchy some of them. But I've done a bit of uh, screwing around so I have the two next drive ready. These two drives are drives that I've already put in here. I see that this label says 12 terabytes. I don't think that's a 12 terabyte. I think that's a 10 terabyte. That's a 10 terabyte. As I have some 12 terabytes, I think we will, we will actually put that in a right one. And then we'll put this 10 terabytes in instead. I can see that, um, yeah, that might make good sense. So now we have two 10 terabytes. Oh, I messed up there. This one also says 12 terabytes, and I put a 10 terabyte in. Just a second, and mere milliseconds later, we now have 12 terabytes and 12 terabytes trays. So let's get those in. So um, 10, 10, 12. So this roll alone, same thing here. We have um, 44 terabytes there. So now I need to. Well, <clears throat> these are Hewlett Packard trays, Hewlett Packard Enterprise trays, which is kind of funny because now there's Hewlett Packard drives in there. These down here are IBM drives, and I have IBM disks in those. I'm not going to be able to, uh, to do that on any more of them because I am out of Hewlett Packard Enterprise trays. But yeah, I thought that was funny. So here are the empty trays that I took out when I borrowed the drives. Apparently I borrowed six drives, yeah, to, to put up into the, well, it's a Hewlett Packard Enterprise C3100 storage server, the, the one U with the 12 drives. So I borrowed all the good drives that I had in this one to, uh, to make that as cool as possible. So even more screwing around from my side, we have a 12 terabyte and we have five uh, 10 terabytes so um, well that's 62 terabytes ready to go in so let's do that uh, let go in there so why am I using these trays it's 110 percent just because I thought they looked cooler than the NetApp uh, trays that this uh, storage box came with and um, I, I got these IBM trays with all the IBM disks here all of these, the trays came with it. it came out of a uh, came out of an IBM storage box, and uh, well, I put all the drive. I took all the trays out and put them over in the in the 70 drive Hewlett Packard one, just to find out that they work perfectly in there. And then I, well, had to put all of them back in trays again. So, yeah, it's a lot of putting forth and back in trays. So now I've run out of uh, empty spaces. So we're gonna take some. 3 terabytes out that we need to uh, to unscrew so we have another 4 that we need to do 
go. Yeah, that one does not want to go. Ah, ah, persuaded. So now we can put these in. So I haven't done the math yet. So it's going to be very interesting to see how far we get uh, towards one petabyte. I hope we're going to make it. I think we are. Let's see. We were missing 230. I'm going to I'm going to open this one. That's the next one that needs to go out. We were needing 230 and I think I have, we have a hundred now. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that's a hundred terabyte plus six terabytes because this, this one, this one, and this one is twelve terabyte drives. So that's a hundred and six terabytes. So in the rest of it, we need a uh, hundred and thirty. Are we gonna be able to make that? Oh, it's gonna get close. So, after a bit more screwing around, we can now put in the last four 10 terabytes that I have here. Um, it says 10 terabyte right there. So, how many 3 terabytes does that leave us? Let's see, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten plus twenty-four. So that's thirty-four three terabytes. I'm gonna keep that open. That's a ten terabyte. Cool. So we're doing the math here. That means that we have eleven ten terabytes in there. That's eleven times ten. And that's a hundred and ten terabyte. Then we have 34 times 3 oh dear that's 90 that's 90 it's a uh, hundred and two uh, we need to all of that let's see zero zero six zero two so that's eight plus seven thirteen fourteen four one four eight four eight nine ten zero one one thousand and forty-eight gigabytes or 1.048 petabyte oh that's not gigabyte that's terabyte terabyte and that's petabyte so we got it okay we are powered up it's it's a bit unhappy with a little bit um, we have some yellow exclamation marks here uh, this one over here is pretty happy so that is all good so uh, combine one petabyte of storage I have connected the two boxes together so it's gonna be very interesting to see if that will if that will work uh, the D6000 over here that is connected to the server um, each of these boxes are a separate box in such so this one is connected to to one port of the rate controller and this one is connected to the other box of the rate controller from this box, a line goes over to one of these boxes. I actually don't know which one. And from the other one, also a line goes over. And it's it's these mini SAS cables that are connecting the two boxes. Uh, this one is a spare one. Hey, they are available in my shop, if you should happen to stop by there. So this uh, goes into the controller over here and goes over here to the controller over there. So. Yeah, let's go ask the computer what it sees. And I am greeted with a really unhappy controller here. It does not like something. Error table to table. Okay. Okay, but we need to figure out what's going on here. Open item then. Okay, that's very, not very helpful. Hmm. Oh, so. Don't. Yes. Okay, <laughs> I'm in trouble. It's unhappy with me here. So every time there's a new error, it, it pops up again. Yeah, okay, never mind. <laughs> okay, so the 
the thing pops up here. We are not seeing the amount of drives that we should. It does see four enclosures, so something is working for us. And something is definitely not as it should be. Uh, and this one keeps popping up, so that's irritating. Physical drives. Oh, we have some SSDs in here as well, so that's also... Oh, so we have multiple terabytes of SSDs as well. No, it does actually not seem to see the... So we have the first 35 drives here. Oh, but then it sees more. No, that's that's the that must be the second one. Yeah, 35 drives on the second one. So right now I'm not seeing those NetApp boxes. Well, I was sure it was going to be closer than that, so I went over the math again, and it's actually one petabyte. 018 uh, so 1018 terabytes so yeah that's uh, that's 30 terabytes less okay I seem to have run into a bit of an issue here so I have the server up here and th that one has an external rate controller in it. it has a rate controller with two external ports that's a better way to say it one of the ports go down to one of the uh, this is the D6000 D6000 uh, One of those two boxes And the other one goes down to the other box Each of these boxes are connected to one of the boxes over here Which is the NetApp NetApp boxes Each with 24 drives And I thought that this cable here was a Mini SAS to Mini SAS uh, I showed you that one I thought it was one of these where you have a mini SAS on each end but it's actually not in this end over here it's a mini SAS it's one of these but in the other end it's a QSFTP connector like this one you can see this is a lot more square and a lot longer than the other one so I have a cable that goes from from this or from this to this this end I can connect the server to it and then that end goes into the NetApp box and I don't have any spare cables of those so right now this is the setup and it's not recognizing it eh. so close but no cigar yeah it's just the last little bit that is missing it seems like the Hewlett Packard box down here does not want to play nice with the NetApp box it seems that the Hewlett Packard Dash gets the signal and it doesn't want to share and I, I can't really go the other way because um, the, the rate controller in the server this one it has even newer connections coming out the, the back 12 gigabytes per second output ports something something I should get one of those shouldn't I these connectors here uh, Yeah, these are newer, these are what the new rate controllers use, at least the newest ones that I've seen. And yeah, so this is the connection that I have in the server, 12 gigabytes, 12 gigabits, something, something. And that goes into a more normal SAS connector that goes down into the Hewlett Packard boxes, the D6000. And from there I was trying to go from, from that connection to the QSFP connection, the long square ones. So, yeah, not working out for me so far. If you know what's going on here and how I can solve this, uh, please do leave it in the description below. We got so close to getting one petabyte of and running. That would have been so nice. We're going to end it here. This has taken way longer than you will ever see. So uh, thank you very much for watching my videos. Do check out my Patreon which there's always a link in the description below to subscribe to my channel so you can see me again and have a really nice day. Bye bye.